Hi everyone and welcome to Filmstorm Studios. This tutorial will be covering footstep sounds and it's quite a tricky little thing to um, get working but once you do it's, um, it's worth it because it really makes your character feel quite grounded and it um, really helps sell the world. So if I um, do a quick preview, let me bring my, um, my game view over into here and um, here's my guy that I'm working on at the moment can actually hear the footstep sounds so oh, this is my um, little system I'm working on so you can um, climb up and you can hear that the the footsteps um, work quite nicely and then you can also do a bit of a swing but yeah see how the the feet really um, stick to the ground when they when the feet hit, that's when the sounds play. So that's what we're gonna have a quick look at in this tutorial. All right, so let's jump out of here. So this is basically any other character that we've created in previous um, things, but really you just need a character that's moving and has feet. So let's just jump to our scene view. And you can notice I've gone into the um, actual skeleton. So I've got the hips and then we've gone into that and then we've worked our way down the legs into foot and we've just pretty much created an empty object and this empty object now let's let's kind of bring it in here so I can show you so this guy is positioned slightly above his foot and this is so that we can raycast down and detect um, where the ground is and then that way we can fire the sound when we hit and the same is for the right foot so basically each are slightly slightly offset um, above the heel so that's pretty much all you need to do for that and I've just set and two FSMs up under my actual player so you come down to here and then we've got a footstep sounds I probably should say this is the left foot and I've also got footstep sounds for the right foot so if we jump into the left foot it's a really simple system so on our left foot we just have a Raycast 2 you can actually find this on the um, ecosystem if you look up Raycast 2. This is where you can get lots of handy actions if you um, if you need something particular. And Raycast 2 is in this area somewhere. I'm not gonna. Well, there it is. But um, you just have to get that, and then you'll get this one. And the only difference between this and a normal Raycast is a normal Raycast only has a hit event, but in this case we know we need a no hit event for when the foot um, is looking to go up again. So basically we start off with the foot up and we're gonna raycast down downwards and a distance a small a really small distance in this super small distance if we press if we press play here and we jump in here you can actually see the um this little yellow line shooting down and this is because we're in the foot down. So as soon as this yellow line um actually crosses the ground, it's gonna fire and say, oh we're not hitting anything anymore. So we'll go back to the foot up until we hit the foot down again, and then that's it's a loop. So um, that's how that works. So and then pretty much all you need to do is put a play random sound or just a play sound into this FSM or state, and you can pretty much hook up two step sounds. So I've got um, I've got these two step sounds. So and you kind of the, the one of the most important things with the step sounds is to actually have it firing. Um, right at the very start, otherwise there'll be a delay and it, it won't look like his feet are actually um, hitting the ground at the right time. So you really want to make sure that step sound is like really close to the start, so that way it um, sounds really nice in the game. So that's pretty much the left foot and we're raycasting from that um, left position that we set up and same as in this one. So really the only difference between this raycast is we're doing a hit event so on hit we're going to saying the foot is down and then the opposite so when there is no hit we're going to say it's the foot is back up again and then it will just go up and down up and down up and down and the foot sound will keep going and then um same thing with the right foot if you scroll down here this is all my other fsms um and then in this guy we've just pretty much done the exact same thing and we've just got the right foot linked up for each one and it's pretty much create the left foot and copy the whole thing and just change this base and it will work perfectly. So then when you press play, 
you have the really nice the really nice foot sounds. And then even because I have a, a crouch implemented here, you'd probably have to adjust the distance so when you're in crouch it actually um, registers a little bit better. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you've had any questions, just um, send me a message and I'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, this has been Kieran for Filmstorm Studios and I'll catch you guys next time.